this is Jessica Scythe, and uh, I wanted to do a quick uh, video vlog here. Um, as you can tell, I'm in my home office from all the artwork that I have on my wall. This is my daughter. She loves to give me artwork. So, But the question that I want to talk about today, the, the thing I want to talk about today is why is it that real estate agents hate short sales? And um, I'm going to give you a little insight into why most agents hate it. And I totally understand why. Um, I'm going to relate a story to you. Um, a friend of mine named Beth, she's a real estate agent. She had a short sale deal. I should say she has a short sale deal. It had a buyer. The buyer was in place. They were all excited about it. And um, things were moving forward with the bank. But of course, it was taking longer, longer than expected, which always seems to happen with a short sale. If you've been in short sales at all, you know that the banks unfortunately don't work on our timeline. They work on their own timeline. So um, this had been going on for a couple of months where we were working with the bank and trying to get them to do what we asked them to do, you know, calling them every few days. And finally, the buyer decided just to walk away, which is really frustrating from the standpoint of, you know, Beth's standpoint, because my goodness, she's been working really hard on this and our company's been working really hard on it to get the short sale to go through and then the buyer walks away. And here's the cool thing. It's kind of like, you know, when your mom told you when something bad happens, take lemons and make it into lemonade. And it kind of irritates you at first because you're like, mom, you know, just leave me alone because I want to just wallow in my self-pity. But here's the thing is you need to turn that on its ear. And I want to encourage you as a real estate agent, if you're a real estate agent and you're watching this, that when you get that first buyer and they start the process, because there, there is something that, there are triggers that happen when you finally send in that first offer to the bank. And it gets this, if you think of the bank's mechanism as this huge wheel that you have to kind of push and push and push until you finally get the thing moving and then it starts to move and then you, you know, and that's the other thing that happened on this deal. I forgot to tell you this the most important thing is we got an acceptance. We got our approval letter right before the buyer walked away or like a day after the buyer walked away, which was really frustrating. So well, what I told Beth is, Beth, put it back on the market. Think of this first offer as an accelerator offer, an offer that puts your foot on the gas of this short sale. So it gets things in motion, it starts things moving forward. And yes, buyers fall out a lot. The first buyer especially seems to, not always, but in a lot of cases, um, they decide to walk away because they've been waiting too long. The thing that you, the lemonade that you wanna make out of this lemon is that that first buyer has moved things along in the process so that when you get a new buyer in, you've already maybe even got a loss mitigator assigned to the file, so you can just slip in that new offer. It doesn't always happen perfectly, but that is one thing that I want to just encourage you about, that if you have the lemon of a person walking away from the deal and you're frustrated and you're saying, I hate short sales, change your attitude and say, you know what, that person helped me move this along further so that the next buyer, which you're going to get, the next buyer is going to be, the process is going to be so much faster for them. So that's my encouragement for today. And um, again, if you want any more advice about short sales or you have questions, I would love to answer them. Um, many of you know my husband and I work together with short sales and our staff and uh, we always love answering questions. So if you have any questions or you need some advice, call us at 509 747-1101. That's 509-747-1101. Let them know that you saw this video and you have some questions that you'd like to ask Matt or Jessica and we'd be happy to answer them. So good luck in your short sales and I hope that you start seeing those buyers that fall out as people who have moved your process along and make it easier for your next buyer. All right, we'll talk to you next time. Bye.